So before I went completely crazy and started upgrading with every hardware generation, I, uh, I used to have a bit of a personal policy where I only upgraded once for every hardware generation as far as, as, far as RAM goes. I only upgraded my RAM uh, when, when the technology changed, so from, you know, EDO to SD to DDR to DDR, sort of much, much higher speed, dual channel, triple channel, those kinds of things. But then I also always required there to be some kind of a capacity benefit. So we've been in a bit of a rut. DDR1 had two gig modules, DDR2 had two gig modules, and that was pretty much the, the, the maximum for the... Uh, the mainstream size kits, and now DDR3 has been stuck at two gig modules for a very long time, but OCZ has been kind of pushing the envelope lately to bring the price down on four gig modules such that we can get to the point where a four gig, or rather an eight gig kit with two four gig modules is actually reasonably priced. Now, it's pretty standard looking as far as OCZ's RAM packaging goes, okay? It's uh, low voltage, optimized for Intel's core i7, i5, and i3 processors, quality performance, and customer support. That's all good stuff. Why don't we get this opened up and have a look? It uses their standard gold series heat spreader. It's their XTC heat spreader, extreme thermal convection or something along those lines. So let's pull up this RAM. I actually grabbed this RAM just uh, one to illustrate sort of how affordable uh, RAM is getting these days. So you can see there's nothing particularly impressive about the speed and timings. It runs at 1333, uh, 999 timings, 1.65 volts. It's a four gig dim. It's got their uh, their honeycomb heat spreader, which uh, they say gives better cooling overall than just a, a straight metal heat spreader. Just your standard green PCB, all that stuff. Anyway, I pulled this out more for like a little demonstration in my ITX motherboard of how much stuff you can jam into a tiny space these days because really increasing the capacity or the densities of RAM modules is uh, one of the one of the better things that you can do to sort of push whatever I'm kind of rambling here it's an 8 gig kit it's reasonably priced very cool thanks for checking out my video blog don't forget to subscribe